as we're covering different pujas in Kolkata, like in Central Calcutta or Kolkata and then West Kolkata and South Kolkata, as you have been watching all these vlogs, these all pujas are called Barwari Puja or funded by public or Puja for public. Today in this vlog, we are going to a special place, which is one of the Bonedi Pujas in Durga Puja time. These are the Pujas by the rich people. So we are going to a place called Borisha near Behala in Kolkata. And that's the place where we have one of the Bonedi Pujas called Shabono Rai Choudhury's Rajbari Puja. This particular Puja has a long history of over 350 years because Shabono Rai Choudhury and the family who used to hold the rights, the Jamindarin rights, in Dihi Kolkata, that was the original village or the area they used to hold and also there were other two villages like Gobindapur and Shutanoti. These are the three different areas, significant large lands they used to have rights to. Around 1698, very long time ago, they had to sell it to the East India Company. There were Jamindars in the Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb's time. That was the declining time of the Mughals in India. And so, although Shabono Rai Chaudhuri wanted to keep the village and the rights of Jamindar in this area, but ultimately the force of Mughals and the East India Company making deals, it was impossible for him to keep the area. In 1698, the Dihi, Kolkata, Govindapur and Shutanuti, all these regions, were given to East India Company and that was the starting of this modern time Kolkata that we are traveling through. After the sale of the rights, Shapon Rai Chaudhuri and family moved to Bodisha, the area that we are traveling today and where he started this Bonedi Puja and guys we're at the Shapon Rai Chaudhuri's Puja Bari. It's look at the pillars in my background. This is called Atchala Puja and this is one of the, as I mentioned, this is one of the Bonedi Bari Puja, the Jamindar Bari's Puja. The Jamindar means uh, landlords, Mughal time and the early East India Company times. Jamindars used to be uh, landholders, landlords of large piece of land and they used to collect tax before they gave it to either Mughals and then later British. But obviously in 1698 they had to sell the rights to these lands and that's where this history of Kolkata begins, the modern Kolkata. There's another house of Shabono Rai Chaudhuri family and it's called Mejo Bari or the middle house I think. It's a house related to their very old ancient Durga Puja. It's, it's written Major Body. This is the house. This area, this traditional old uh, Jamidar house has this Dalan in the middle. Look at the interior of this Major Body or the middle house. And this is one of the finest example of Shabono Rai Chaudhuri Poribars or the family's houses. And look at the Dalan, that's middle part of the house. And this Dalan area is surrounded by all these Puja Mandop or the buildings or other rooms where people used to live. Very often they used to call this Thakur Dalan because this Dalan where they used to make Durga Pratima and they make the Durga Pratima here locally in the Thakur Dalan before they move that upstairs where they are having this Durga Pratima and so this Thakur Dalan is the central piece of all these Jamindar houses, very similar structure and it also shows the, the richness, the, the wealth they used to hold because building such a house 400, 500 years ago could have been very expensive. I mean it's still very expensive these days but that time there was no middle class so only had Jamindar or the poor part of the society. So the Jamindar's puja were the Bonedi puja that we are covering today and the Barwari pujas are the puja of the community or puja for the common people. So that was the distinction between the Bonedi puja and the Barwari puja. Obviously Barwari puja is the significant number and we only have very few Bonedi houses and the Bonedi pujas left in Kolkata. This is one of the finest and it is the most historic one because this is the family which is linked with the creation of modern Kolkata because they had to sell these land rights to East India Company in 1698 and that time marked the 
the merger, the starting of the merger of Dihi, Kolkata, Shutanoti and Govindapur, the three areas which were merged and formed the, the Kolkata, the today's Kolkata that we are leaving and traveling around. Look at these decorations, these are hand painted and we call them Alpuna in Bengali. This is a traditional way of decorating your house, the pathways and uh, Thakur Dalan as well. And so this is a unique thing and it could be very intricate, very detailed design and the paintings and they all made made by hand. So look at these stairs. They have they have done some alpunas. So these are a very traditional way of decorating your stairs, particularly or the hallways. And look at this Thakur Dalan. They have done a huge alpuna. Obviously over time people stepping over is got painted, but still you can see the whole structure. It's so beautiful. Look at the paintings on these pillars and look at the paintings at the interior of this mandop or the Durga Dalam. They are beautiful. Look at these doors. They are also very nicely decorated, hand painted of course. And the ladies are in traditional sharis. They were during the puja. I'm sure families from Shabon Raichudri's original family and extended families, they have gathered here today and they are doing this extraordinary Durga Puja and that tradition is going stronger and that's amazing. As part of our Bonedi Bari Puja video, now we are at the Shoha Bajar Rajbari in Shoha Bajar. This is the entrance to the Shoha Bajar Rajbari. Obviously, it's a very old, very narrow street, and I'll talk about the history in a bit later. But look at the entrance, it's the very old Kolkata, and this is something to be experienced. I think this is the Shohavaja Rajbari. There is a Bonedi Puja and we'll experience that today. Look at this road, it's such a narrow street and it's just too difficult to park and and uh, look at this palace but obviously the palace was built in 1757 or near about that time. So that time Kolkata was virtually empty, it was like villages and so imagine that palace looked so grand in the middle of nowhere it could have been so grand vision that they build this palace but it's almost 250 years old even more than that we are entering the Shobha Bajar Rajbari there is the Bonedi Bari Pujo and we'll experience that look at this Kori Borga this ceiling this is a very traditional way of building houses more than 250 years ago it's Navami and very busy time during Durga Puja and it's just extraordinary. The whole palace looks stunning. Look at the Thakur Dalam. It's just grand. This is completely different experience today. Look at these pillars. This is a really grand house. This is the largest palace in Kolkata and they have this traditional Durga Puja. They're performing this Puja since 1757. This is Shoha Bajar Rajbari. This was built by Maharaja Nabukrishna Dev. He built two palaces in this location and eventually they were merged and formed this big palace. This is the largest palace in Kolkata and this was built in early to mid 1700. So there is a bit of history here. Maharaja Nabukrishna Dev was very loyal to British East India Company. At that time, around mid-1700, the Bangla was governed by Shirajat Dulla, Bangla's Sultan. And the East India Company was trying to capture the Bangla region. So they took advantage of local people's support. There was a historic battle at Polashi where Warren Hastings and Lord Clive representing East India Company, they defeated then Bangla Sultan Sirajuddullah. And then because of his help, Raja Nabukrishna Dev was given enormous amount of wealth by the East India Company. And he established this palace. This is the palace, Shohabajar Rajbari Palace that we are standing today. 
After defeating Sirajuddhula, the Sultan of Bengal that time in 1757, he started this Durga Puja at this palace, the Shubha Bajar Palace. And this is the probably one of the first Bonedibari Puja that still survived and that's still going on today. Other interesting history is that after defeating Sirajuddhula, Warren Hastings and Lord Clive, they were actually invitees at this Durga Puja, 1757. Look at these red buildings with arches. They're so gorgeous. It's really authentic and preserved. And look at the pillars. They're also genuine and really authentic. And the presence of these pillars and these arches make this whole building so grand, stunning. And that white part of the building is Thakur Dalam. As I mentioned in my other video where we visited Shabon Rai Choudhury's Bonedibari Puja, this is Thakur Dalam. This is the white part of this building. Look at this, how well decorated is that? And the Durga Puja is performed in that Thakur Dalam. Look at the Durga Pratima. So gorgeous. As I mentioned, this Durga Pratima was first worshipped in 1757 to celebrate the defeat of Shirajadola. Obviously, it's very interesting to mention that 1757, where East India Company finally managed to enter the political scene of Indian subcontinent, they got hold of Bengal and they got hold of the political governance of the Bengal after defeating Shirajadulla with the help of Maharaj. And then at that time, I think it was thought that the British government, the British East India Company will be the new beginning, the progression, the story of progression for Bengal and Indian subcontinent. And that's why Durga Puja started at this palace in 1757 to celebrate that new beginning, I suppose. But eventually, British capital Bengal and eventually the whole subcontinent of India, almost whole subcontinent of India. And we know the history. They captured and conquered and ruled Indian subcontinent for next 190 years until India was independent in 1947. While it marked the beginning of a new era, but eventually that became a darkest part of Indian history. And uh, the Indians, we had to fought uh, over 100 years of bloody freedom fight to free India that we live and work and enjoy this extraordinary festival with complete freedom. Look at this hand-painted Ganesh. It's just beautifully decorated, decorating the wall and the entrance to the Grand Palace. And it's written that the artist's name is Prabhu Krishna Dev. From Shobhabaja Rajbari, we came to Chatubabu Latubabu's Rajbari. This is Chatubabu Latubabu's Rajbari. This is our third stop at third Bonedi Bari in Kolkata, and we are experiencing different Bonedi Bari's puja in Kolkata. So this is another one, very close to Shobhabaja Rajbari and it's called Chatubabu Latubabu's Rajbari. They have also a Bonadi Puja in Durga Puja they organize. Yeah, it's very historic, very nostalgic journey so far. Look at the house. This red color makes it very grand and authentic, very old style. Let's enter the house and experience the Bonedibari Durga Puja. Wow, look at these pillars. Amazing pillars.
so many pillars and this type of ceiling is called Kori Borga and these lanterns and these ceiling fans they're very old time, very traditional and the Durga Pratima is in the middle Look at the Durga Pratima, so gorgeous Look at the grandeur of the Chhatu Babu Raju Babu's Rajbari It's a 250 years old Rajbari and they have this Bonedi Puja that we have just experienced Look at my background, these pillars are just authentic they're nostalgic and the, this is very well preserved Rajbari as well. It looks stunning. 